Welcome back to part three, and this part is for the Mac version of our WD06 research paper for spring 2020, and we're going to put our sources inside our paper and use them for both the works cited area and also for our in-text citations. And I have sources for you, which is on the second page, which they are on the second page of your instructions and I just have three sources and you can highlight these things and, and go to them if you want if you want to try to highlight this stuff I'm not sure how it well I guess if you could just click on the link it'll go there uh, when you go here just be because of the link on the thing I didn't even mean to have it a link if you go here you know these things are still acting like links even though they don't have underlines if you go here it will take you away from your instructions so you could right click on here and make sure you go to, to a new page if you want to do that so actually, let me do this. I'll just go to one of these and we'll start up one here. So I'll say open a new tab. So this is one of our reviews. This is one of the things that we're going to use for our page, uh, for our paper. This is one of our sources. So it's called Camtasia Review. It's from Software How. Uh, Thomas Bolt is the author of this. It was from June 22nd, 2018, and I'm viewing it on March 19th. I'm going to have another tab and I'm going to go to EasyBib instead of using the tools in Word. I'll leave those videos up with the tools in Word, but I'm going to go to EasyBib and check it out. And like I said, I have found this a little frustrating. Now, I do have an account. So here I'm signed in. I have my account. Let's see how this works here. I'm going to create citations. And what I'm going to do is I'll use website. And you can basically put in, if we're going to use a website citation instead of a book or anything like that, I'm going to use this one. Now, you could try to copy it from your notes, but I'll just go up here and I'll copy it up here and put it in there and we'll just see what happens. I'll go in here, I'll paste it, use a command V on a Mac and I'll just go in here. Now keep in mind, this is a free site so you're gonna get ads, you're gonna get things telling you to sign up for a, a, you know, a paid thing, you're gonna get all kinds of stuff like that. So just get prepared however you do this. So right there it is and they ask you, is it good enough for professional work and all that? Uh, I don't care about that right now. Just hit site and then just hit continue and it's working on it. And there's my information, what I'm citing. There's the article title. There's Thomas Bolt, that's the author. It's picking up all this from the website. There's the date. It's not putting in the date that I'm accessing it, but we're gonna have to put that in. So let's complete the citation. And again, if you do this, all right, view a sponsored message, you gotta do this. All right, I'll go through this. You're gonna get something like this. And it might even help to even click on the ad or something. Okay, I'm done return to my citation. Here's my citation. Now it just created one here and I have a bunch here that I already did because I was practicing. Let me get rid of these uh, just so I don't have them right now. These, So I just have this one right now. Now be careful with this. If you copy, if you try to copy this, it tries to get you to watch this. If you click on here, it, it goes to this trial thing, which is really frustrating. And I guess if you don't make an account, maybe it doesn't do that. It just makes you watch an ad, but it made me watch an ad even though I do have an account. So uh, I'll, I'll show you what to do here. So if you do have an account, at least it's going to save it in here. So here's here's one of my citations, although whatever it did, it, uh, it didn't delete the ones that I had. So let me go back and delete citation. I told you, this thing is going to drive me crazy. You know, I just deleted them. Why didn't they go away? There Was there somewhere to save or something? I don't know. I don't see a place where it says save or anything like that. So, uh, again, I'll just keep this here for now. And it's in alphabetical order. So that's one of them. Okay, so let me just go do another. And I'll get out of this. I don't need this thing anymore, this site. And let's me, let me go back to my sources. Here's another one here and I'll just right click and open that in a new window. And here's another review. And again, you don't have to read the review. The stuff's here if you want, but I'm just going to copy this and I'll go to EasyBib and I'll X out of this. See, it's just going to be bothering me. And I'll try to create another one, create a new citation. And again, we're using website. And I'll paste this in here and I'll hit search and it's going to kind of pull the information from there for you and format it so you don't have to format it as much because that's not always the easiest thing to do. I had to do that years ago, but you don't have to do that. And I'll just hit continue. And notice that there's no name here for that review. So it just says Java review. It's using that 
and there's the title, there's the URL, and that's all we need right now. So I'm just going to complete this. And I should have two in my list right now. So there's two. So that's okay. It's working okay. So I'll close this up. You got to jump around a little bit here. Again, like I said, there's tools inside of Word, but they're not easy either. And they make you do a, a lot of work and you have to edit a lot of things afterwards. So here's our last one. So here's our last one right here. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And this is just another review here. And I'll just copy this up here. And I'll X out of here. So I copied that. I'll go to Easy Bib and try to make another one. And it's going to be a website again. And I'll paste in my URL and I'll hit search. And even though there was no name on the article, it's pulling up a name called Lance Carr or something. So that's okay. I mean, you don't have to have a name. If you don't have a name, you can use the title. So I'll hit continue here. And I thought I hit complete. I'll hit complete again. And there's my third one. So this is my third one. It's doing in alphabetical order. It put Lance Carr second. So I have all my stuff right now. Now, one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't put the accessed stuff at the end. We're just going to have to add that in. And what you can do here is actually... I'm going to export this now. So I'm going to export all this and it'll act that actually works and you can export it. If you're working in Word, you can export it as a Word file. If you're working in Docs, I guess we'll see what happens when we do that. So I'm going to export that. And those are my three sources and it even open it up. So this is actually what's going to go on our last page. So this isn't too bad after going through that. And at this point, I might just highlight this. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to go to the end of my paper, wherever that is. Here's the end of my paper. And I'll just delete this. I don't need any of this blue stuff. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to insert a page break. Now on Mac, you can go to Insert and look for Break. Now they have Pages and they have Page Break. You can also go up here if you're working on a Mac. But you can go here, Insert Pages, Page Break. And it puts it on a brand new page. And I'll just paste my stuff here. So that's it. That's all I have to do for my works cited. It's already in a hanging indent. You can see all the other parts are indented in. It's putting everything exactly as it should be as far as its italics. Now keep in mind, if you didn't have that Lance Carr, you can actually use this for your in-text citations. But it's going to use this Lance Carr, and it's putting it in order from Bolt, Carr, and Java Review. And when you do your in-text citations, you're just going to have to do Bolt, car and Java review. You don't have to put dates, anything like that. But the last thing you want to do here is right after the period, just put accessed. And then once you do one, you could copy and paste it. And if it makes this a link, you could right click on that and just say hyperlink, remove hyperlink, because you don't want that to be linked on there. It doesn't look good. And plus, it makes it more active. And you don't want people jumping to different links. So I'm going to accessed. And the way you should put it is you should say the date 19, and then a space and then it's three letter abbreviation and then 2020 and then a period at the end so there's a period after your URL and there's a period at the end of here and keep in mind there's also a comma that should be here after the title before the date of when the article was written so once you have this you could really just copy this and just put it here make sure you put there is a space there so make sure it's getting a space and this will probably jump to the next line and that's it so that's the work cited it should look just like this. Nothing bold. Don't make this bold. Don't make this left. Don't put any colors, anything. Word puts things in colors and does all kinds of weird stuff here. This is actually formatted, I think, the way it's supposed to be. And again, if you're not sure, check out the MLA 8 guide from the library. But from what I checked out, everything is fine, except you just have to put in this accessed, the date that you access this information, if it's today. And that's what I'm doing for today. All right, so our last thing we're going to do here is I'm just going to highlight bold, and I'll just copy it. And I'll just find the bolt places. And I'm just going to go here. And I'll get rid of this. And make sure it has to be before the period. So you put your, your citation before the period. So I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do space. And I'm going to put bolt. And just put it in parentheses. That's all you have to do. Now if, anything, now, if anything is blue here, just highlight it and go to your Home tab. And then just go make sure that you make it black. So that's it. All you have to do, there's another bolt down here. I might as well just copy this. I'll copy this 
thing. Now this is hard to highlight sometimes. It'll get the other punctuation around it sometimes. So I'll copy that and I'll put this down here and I'll paste that and just make sure there's not two spaces there and there's a period at the end. And that looks good and it's not blue. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to save what I have so far. So all I have to do, there's one here for Java review and it's actually just going to say Java review. So, you know, I don't even have to go back and look at it. I mean, you can, but it's basically just going to have Java review like that. And then just make sure that it's black and make sure there's a period after that. And I don't think I have any other Java reviews. And the last one is this car one. And again, just look at your just look at this and this is going to get car that's just going to get his name now if it didn't have a name it would actually use this title here the one that's in quotes but we're just going to use car so it's two r's so we're just going to put that in here and actually i could i'll just backspace everything and just type in car with parentheses just like that and make sure i have a period at the end and i'm just going to highlight that and and that's it and I'm done. So if I was working on a Mac, I'd be done right now. There's my paper, Smith, the names on every page. I have my in-text citations because they're in here. And I just have a couple on here. And I have my work cited at the end. So on the Mac side, I'm actually done. So that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too easy either jumping around from all those websites and stuff like that. Um, remember, work cited, this should be in alphabetical order based on the authors. And if there's no author, it'll use the title, not the website name. And obviously, you'd want to you'd go back and spell check it and things like that. But that's all you have to do for this. So I'm going to save this. And then all you would do is just upload it as you normally would through your coursework. So you remember how to do that, whether you're in class or whether you're online. So I don't have to go through doing that. But this is what you would turn in. So it should look like this when you're done. Don't try to mess with the PDF or do anything. Or just go and do this just because you're going to have to do paper sooner or later. So take the time. Learn how to use some of these tools. Like I said, there's tools built into Word, and I have videos for that stuff. There's all this stuff under references and stuff like that, but they really make things harder sometimes. Like they don't have MLA 8th edition, and they really change everything. This Easy Bib, I actually, even though I don't like it, I don't like these pages that have ads and you know, force you to turn off your ad blocker and all this kind of stuff. It's just really annoying, but it, it did make it a lot easier. That bibliography at the end was very easy to do, and it's done correctly. So that's it for the Mac side. I'm going to try this on the Windows side and then eventually try it on the Docs side, Google Docs side, and see how that works. So that's it for WD06.